The Anthem data breach is affecting millions of people worldwide. People right here in our area are trying to figure out what to do next. Yeah, we've received emails, calls. People are concerned. They want to make sure their personal information isn't stolen. A WSBT 22 Suzanne Spencer did some digging. And Suzanne, it's crucial people take action now. Financial advisors are saying this is not a type of situation where you wait and see. The first 90 days are crucial to protecting your identity, but also your personal identification numbers, too. I mean, it's a little scary to know that all of your information could possibly be out there. I mean, it sounds like it's kind of a big breach. Erica is not alone. Millions of people's information is at risk, not just your credit, but personal identification information like your social security number. Besides contacting the credit bureaus and monitoring their credit reports, contacting the Federal Trade Commission, you might also want to contact the Social Security Administration. When you call, ask for you and your kid's account to be put on fraud alert. That way, the agency can monitor your account. The freeze is what that will generally do, is that alerts them that there has been something, there's some type of a breach that you're concerned about. Next, GreenPath advises you to contact at least one of three credit agencies, Experian, Equifax, or TransUnion, and ask for a credit freeze or fraud alert. GreenPath experts say that freeze will last about 90 days. That's the standard that the bureaus will put it on there for, um, because that's when you should start to see any activity. That's going to be the most important thing, is to monitor those credit reports. GreenPath experts suggest you pull one credit report from each of the three agencies. So we do recommend that you can stagger it by pulling then one bureau now, wait four months, pull another bureau, and then another four months, and you can pull the third bureau. Pulling your own credit score or freezing your account will not hurt your credit, according to the FTC. You'll also still be able to get loans and credit cards when your account is frozen, but you should alert one of those credit agencies before doing so. And unfortunately, it does take, um, you know, some time, and uh, but it is worth the investment. But people like Erica just want answers. To be honest, I'm not sure yet. I mean, it just came as such a surprise. I'm not really sure, you know, what I'm going to do. It's, it's a little early. Now, it may seem early, but financial experts are encouraging anyone with Anthem Insurance to act quickly. They say scammers will often attack within those first 90 days. Yeah, it's very scary to think about this situation here at WSBT 22. We have Anthem Insurance, right. and we just got an email today warning us about not only the hack that happened there, but that can breed more systems, more cyber attacks, and more scams. Absolutely. In that email, they said Anthem will not be calling any of you asking for your credit card information or any personal identification. The only way you'll hear from them is through the mail you'll receive via the U.S. Postal Service. Exactly. Again, don't open those attachments. Any emails that you think may be from Anthem, again, double check those. Only click on links on the Anthem website. Yeah, all great advice, Suzanne. Thanks very much.